Long ago, alchemists dedicated their lives to pursuing the Philosopher's Stone. Legend had it, this stone could transmute base metals into precious gold. It seems man has always dreamed of getting something for nothing. And maybe solar energy is just another one of those dreams. In the Utah desert near the town of Delta lay the ruins of a solar farm. Traditionally, solar energy is harnessed through photovoltaic cells, which directly convert the energy of the sun into a flow of electrons. The drawback to this system is that the cells are relatively expensive and complicated to manufacture. International Automated Systems had a different idea. Rather than use photovoltaic cells, they would use arrays of cheap Fresnel lenses to focus the heat of the sun onto these thermal collectors, which would then produce steam to power a bladeless turbine. The principle was simple, like making a fire with a magnifying glass. The pieces of the puzzle were easily manufactured and cheap to produce. Neldon Johnson, the founder of the company, was set to turn the golden rays of the sun into regular gold. But, as often happens, the forces of nature proved more powerful than the dreams of man. Sadly, it seems that Neldon's dreams of cheap energy died here in the desert. Unless, of course, cheap energy was never the dream to begin with. See, in 2015, the U.S. Department of Justice filed a complaint against International Automated Systems and their partner company, Raw Power 3. The complaint claims that IAS and Raw Power 3's business model is really just an abusive tax scam to capitalize on renewable energy credits from the federal government. According to the DOJ, investors were encouraged to purchase these solar concentrating lenses, which would then be installed at one of the company's solar farms, and that this purchase would allow the investor to receive an income tax discount as well as energy credits. Both companies are still in existence, and you can go to the Raw Power 3 website to even find out about investing in this technology. They even include a um, sponsorship program, which uh, the DOJ alleges is simply a multi-level marketing scam. So, perhaps the truest philosopher's stone isn't really a material at all, but instead a business plan or an idea which convinces men to freely hand over their gold.